the nervous system. The nervous system sends and receives messages all over your body. Whoa! Oof! Ouch! You've just used your nervous system, Chester. I have? The nervous system is made up of your brain, spinal cord, and billions of cells called neurons. Neurons send information to and from your brain through your spinal cord. This is happening inside me all the time? It's like a super highway of information. So, the neurons in your skin just sent a message of pain to your brain. When I said, ouch? Yes. Then my brain sent another message to my muscles to jump up. That's right. Your nervous system controls walking, <laughs> talking, reading, everything. Plus things we don't think about, like breathing. Chester the nervous system. Next time, please warn my brain about the pain before I jump. Find the matching numbers. The eye. Eyes are made up of lots of amazing parts. This is an eye, seen really close. And look, the black circle's getting smaller. And now bigger. That's the pupil. It's actually a hole that lets light in. The pupil is controlled by the muscles of the iris, the colored part of the eye. So the iris and pupil control how much light goes into our eyes? In bright light, the pupil gets smaller. And when it's darker, the pupil gets bigger to let in more light. That's the pupil dilating. Light travels inside our eyes, which sends a message to the brain so it can tell what we're seeing. I'm going to get a mirror. Why, Willow? I want to watch my pupils dilate, so I'm going to use my eyes to see my eyes. Like. Bones. There are over 200 bones in your body. A skeleton made of bones. Bones support our bodies and help us move. If you didn't have bones, you'd be a blob. Can you feel any bones, Marco? Here. That's your clavicle or collarbone. And these? Your rib cage. Those bones protect your heart and lungs. Which is your biggest bone? Um, this one. Brilliant, Marco. That's your femur or thigh bone. Bones are hard on the outside. But inside is soft marrow. What's marrow for? It's marrow that produces your blood. Having milk, yogurt, broccoli, and beans is great for healthy bones. Then I'm having all of these for my lunch. Let's write brain. B. R. A. I. N. B. R. A. I. N. Brain. Tears. 
tears. Tears come from glands found in your upper eyelids. <laughs> What's so funny, Gorby? Mar Marco too, told me the funniest joke. Hey, why am I crying? I'm not sad. Our bodies make tears for lots of reasons, Gorby, including when we laugh. I never knew laughing could make me cry. As well as showing if we're happy or sad, how else do you think tears are useful, Gorby? Well, they make my eyes all wet. Is that helpful? It is. Tears stop your eyes from drying out. And they clean your eyes if something like dust gets into them. Like cleaning the windows. Tears that run down our face are called teardrops. And they taste salty. Very salty. Tears can also run down special tubes called tear ducts into your nose. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why my nose is runny. <laughs> that's funny. Uh-oh. Here comes the tears again. <laughs> now let's test your memory. The ear. The ear collects sounds and sends them to the brain. The sounds of the city. Which we couldn't hear if our ears didn't work. But how do ears work? The outer ear collects sounds for the inner ear. Inside the ear, sounds cause your eardrum to vibrate. They also vibrate the hammer, anvil, and the stirrup. The sound vibrations go further into your ear to the cochlea. Whoa, <laughs> that looks like a snail. That's the cochlea seen really close. And the cochlea sends the sound message to your brain? That's it. Chester, what do your ears hear? My ears hear birds sing, bells ring, ah, drills ring. Ears are amazing things. Find the matching numbers.